Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in my backyard. We got some birds squawking, but you know what? The show must go on, and I have some drop top fun for you. This is a 2021 BMW M440i. But before we get into this drop top turbocharge of a performer, let's talk about what's going on here. BMW, Bavarian Motor Works. They've been making vehicles for so many years, since the 1930s. Remember, it all started with airplanes and airplane engines. After World War I, they shifted to motorcycles and then eventually they made their first automobile. Now, fast forward to the 21st century, we're in a new generation of the 4 Series. And it's interesting because for so many years, it was all about the 3 Series. Then they decided, you know what? M3 is gonna be the four door. M4 is gonna be the two door. Well, this is not an M4, but it's an M440i and it's a convertible. So. What I want to do with this review is I want to find out, is this a performance drop top? Is this a performance convertible? And is this the better way to go? What else can you get convertible wise? Definitely an Audi S5 convertible. Is it better to go with the other German Euro brand? Let's dive into our Tanzanite blue, beautiful color, Tanzanite blue BMW M440i and see if we could get these questions answered. Right off the bat, we've already been here with the coupe. Now we have the drop top and it's all about the new shape and body style. Working at the front of the business, you see the direction that BMW is going with their headlight design. So glad to see that they kept that connection with the halo D daytime running lamp set up on there. Not complete halo circles, but you get the idea. Everything else looking super clean on the interior of the headlight housing. Dropping down, you are gonna get functional side air curtain and corner intake, a little bit of gloss black. What I really like is this nice, almost like a brush titanium color. Really gives it that little extra something of style. Then we kind of slide in front. We're gonna move past the grill quickly because I think we're all over, hopefully you're over, what the new grill design looks like. I think with the tanzanite blue and that titanium color, it's working. You'll notice that there's actually active shutters up front. So there's doors that are gonna open and close for aerodynamic efficiency. I like all the little different design elements, especially in this lower section, and we have full functionality. So that's a really nice extra touch. The BMW badge, that Bavarian Motor Works badge, located right above the grill, and then we get up onto the hood, clean style, all the way right up to the A pillars. Now. When we saw this as a, as a coupe, we saw the clean body lines. I really think drop top, it fits it to a T. It's like they thought about making it a convertible before they made it an actual hard top coupe. Now, when we come around the bend on this M440i, we got some sexy looking wheels. Split spoke design, 19 inch wheel, the M branding on there, even though this isn't a true M car, it's got the M branding and I'm loving the titanium, this flat titanium, Little bit of machined aluminum, fully ventilated rotor, and of course, we're gonna get a nice large four piston caliper, bright red. Remember, that's an option. You could option these different colors. I'm digging the bright red, it really pops behind the style of the wheel. And then, of course, you're gonna get that M badging on the caliper itself. Front tires are 225 on the width, 40 series sidewall. And like I said, this is a 19 inch wheel, and you're gonna get those Michelin Pilot Sport. 4S tires, gonna give you some stick, also gonna give you some nice drivability. Now coming down the fender, super clean, pick up a body line, it flows all the way down. Underneath that, on the bottom side, you're gonna get that side sill extension, everything color match. And then like I was telling you, drop top is what it's all about. And even though it's a two door, you are gonna get a full set of four seats in this. And trust me, I promise we're gonna get into the back seat so you can see what life is like being one of those back seat passengers. But I'm really digging this clean tonneau cover. You got the gloss black trim at the base of the windows, goes all the way around the back of this tonneau cover, really slick. Let's focus on the rear wheel and tire stuff. So now you're getting a little bit wider, it's 255. You don't get a nice, four piston caliper, you're just gonna get those standard sliding calipers. So we are gonna have to zonk that on an M440i vehicle, but still that same great 19 inch wheel. And like I said, 
Forest tires, Power Sport Forest tires, rear wheel drive, getting the power to the ground. Now, as we come around the back, super sleek, just a little bit of a kick up in the trunk. It would have been nice to have the addition of a trunk lid spoiler, just a little extra something, something to kick up that air and give some clean style, but you definitely are gonna get the clean style with the LED taillights. You'll notice we do have some fake vents. The way they flared that out, that is fake, so we are gonna have to zonk it, but it does look good at least. That's half the battle, so maybe we'll just give it a half zonk because it looks good, but the rest is not functional. We do have, though, functional exhausts on both sides. These are decorative tr trim rings, but the exhausts are located behind, and this rear diffuser area with the M440i badge, they even went ahead and hid, almost hid, you still can see it, but I like the way it's clean, the rear view camera in the BMW emblem. When we're comparing this to the S5, very, very close size-wise. Obviously, the Audi comes standard with that Quattro all-wheel drive system, but we got rear-wheel drive. Let's pop the hood and see what we have performance-wise in this M440i. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Underneath the hood, you can see some of the bracing that they have from the shock top mounts to the front of the vehicle to stiffen things up. Large plastic cover, but I'm liking what's going on. You got the BMW badge and performance, BMW and some tasteful style there. But what are we looking at underneath that plastic cover? You are looking at that three liter inline six. So it's an inline six turbocharged engine, also known as a straight six, 382 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque. It is mated to a ZF eight speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 in about 4.9 seconds, top speed 155 miles per hour. MPGs 23 in the city, 31 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs around 4,171 pounds. Now, when we're comparing this to the Audi S5, that's gonna have a V6 turbocharged engine. A Little bit different in delivery, still an eight-speed automatic, but like I said, the all-wheel drive to keep you down to the pavement. More horsepower though out of this engine over the Audi. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All right guys, here we are inside this Tanzanite Blue 2021 M440i from BMW. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, it's getting harder and harder to find convertibles, especially something that has some get up and go and the luxury that I want. I've been looking at Mercedes, I've been looking at Audi, and especially that S5. How much is this M440i? The way that it's optioned with the convertible and everything, you're looking at an MSRP of a tick under $75,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panel. So you're gonna get the optional Harman Kardon sound system. I love the soft touch material with the white contrast stitching, nice aluminum style finish around the switch gear and the door handle there. And then you'll notice that you're gonna get a nice large speaker grill cover. And then the two tone with the tan and the black really pops nicely. Door pockets a little tight, maybe two churros from Costco and a bottle of milk to wash it all down. Going from the door panel to the dash, has that unique BMW style and feel, soft touch material. I love this design that they did. Something a little bit more you know, involved rather than just gloss black or some faux carbon fiber stuff. You slide over to the infotainment side of things and this is where the BMW i7, this is that seventh series of the operating system with iDrive controller and everything. It's a 10.3 inch screen. Standard is at 8.8 .8 inch, so this is optional. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and navigation. Let me throw it into reverse. Backup camera, very, very clear. You got your 360 and back as up assist and automatic automated parking, which is really nice. These are features that when you're comparing it to the, uh, the Audi, BMW has a little bit more on the features. You could go into your car settings, real easy to find out the vehicle status, engine oil level, all that good stuff. And it's very intuitive once you get the hang of it. Working your way down, you got your dual climate control. We have optional ventilated seats. So that's a nice touch. The silver is clean. That beige color looks tasteful. Radio controls. And then you'll see more of that design with the stitching 
open up the door. What do we got? A USB wireless charging and two cup holders. So they got you covered there. And speaking of covers, easy to close. This is going to control that ZF 8-speed automatic transmission, start-stop button. You got your different modes, which is going to adjust throttle, steering, performance, and your suspension. There's that iDrive control knob. If you don't want to touch the screen, we got heated seats. And this to me is a zonk. I don't know why they have the heated seats over here and the ventilated seats by the infotainment system. It's like you got to reach. If you want cool, you got to reach over here. If you want warm, then you got to reach over here. And this is how you drop the top. Nice and soft on the armrest. Open it up. You got enough place for a baker's dozen of Twinkies. That's 13 Twinkies and a USB-C. And then the seats, wonderful leather. It's going to blow cool or hot air on the back of your neck, like somebody whispering something to your, your ear. And then I love all the materials, nice bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. You got the hand string uh, extension, which is really great. And then you can see that with the top up, plenty of room in here. Six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom. Coming over the business end, I want to show you behind this beautiful BMW steering wheel in the M440i. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this M440i. Really beautiful M badging on this aluminum sill plate here. Those colors have so much history to them. Foot box right out of a race car. You're getting that nice aluminum dead pedal, brake, and throttle. Seat controls are easy to get to. And then it comes down to the steering wheel. BMW does some of the best wheels in the business. It is heated, leather wrap, even the horn button looks good. You have paddles to go up and down that eight speed automatic manual tilting and telescoping wheel. And then you get another 12.3 inches of digital display smack dab in the center of your face. Love the clarity of the graphics. You got a backward operating tachometer there, but navigation in the center. Not as good as the virtual cockpit from Audi, but I definitely like the infotainment system more in this M440i. Let me show you what the top is all about in the down position so we can get into the back seat. All right, guys, before I let you in, I wanted to show you what the action looks like in the top operation when it's coming up and being put into place. And it's real simple. You're just gonna lift up on the lever and one, two, three, that tonneau cover drops back Claw top comes out. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, why they go with a claw top? They were really focusing on cutting weight and making sure the weight didn't get to a certain uh, number to keep that nice balance and everything. Windows slide up, and then you're ready to rock and roll. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Come on over to the passenger side. There's a lot to show you. All right, guys, we put the top back down to help illustrate what the back seat is all about. But it's real simple. You just lift up on this lever, push the seat forward, the electric assist, moves the seat forward and then getting in is a piece of cake. I mean, I feel like I'm flying, Jack. But anyways, enough about movies and stuff. Getting in, lots of room. I'm six feet tall. You pull the seat back and what it's gonna do is it's gonna slide back. Once you hit your knee, it stops, which is great because that means it's not gonna break your legs. You got rear AC vents, rear AC controls, and two USB-Cs back there. Not a lot of rear seat passengers getting that in just any old convertible. Two cup holders, and I have a Twinkie tray on both sides. That's perfect for when you're cruising the beach. You take your Twinkie, you throw it to somebody that maybe you wanna get their phone number or go out on a date and be like, hit me up later, throw them a Twinkie. But it's actually not too shabby back here for a two-door convertible. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the trunk and see how much junk we can fit in the M440i. Right, guys, one of the great things about this convertible is that you not only are gonna get some performance, you're not only getting a nice interior, hit the button, you have electric assist, brings it up, what do we have? We have 7.8 cubic feet of space, even with the top down, top down, top up. I do like that versatility, and I like the way it doesn't shrink when the top is down, but you know what? If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's go for an on-throttle spin in our M440i convertible. All right, guys, we're in this 2021 BMW M440i. Here we go, on throttle, yeah! <laughs> Tons of fun. Nice sound, being pumped into the cabin. On the brakes, here we go. 
really is giving great feedback. Brakes are feeling good. So let's talk about what's going on here. With this M440i, it's a nice in-between. Obviously, if you want the most performance, you want that M4 convertible. But when we're comparing this to the Audi S5, when we're comparing this to the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, it really is a nice balance. That straight six, turbocharged power, you're not feeling like you're, you're wanting more power as you're going through the twisty bits. I wanted to start with the car in Sport Plus mode, shifting automatically, that ZF doing the business, and it does a pretty good job with the upshifts and the downshifts. And I wanted to have the convertible top up because one thing that's mind blowing in here, and we've driven quite a few convertible cars, cloth convertible tops, there's no wind noise. They did a phenomenal job with the seals and all the joints of the top and the body to really just isolate everything and have that serene experience. And one thing that BMW has really been working on is getting back to that ultimate driving machine and you definitely are getting more feedback through the wheel. All right guys, we got the top down. That's what this M440 is all about. I'm gonna shift manually with the paddles through that ZF8 speed. Love having the ventilated seats on, but if you're ready, I'm ready. On throw, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! On the brakes. Really handles well, look at this. about that fast shifts from that zf8 speed with the side glass up you're getting a nice blending of that open air feel without getting just buffeted in the face with a ton of wind you get the great sound of that straight six turbocharged engine i really love how balanced the chassis is and then of course the comfort the leather the materials easy to get to the infotainment system nice to have the head-up display and that massive 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster bmw always does a great job with their steering wheels but uh really love how quick the transmission shifts you get a few pops here and there on oh, try here we go on the brakes for this tight turn Little bit of wiggle from the back to square off the corner. And trust me, you look at the speedometer, you're gonna get up to triple digits very, very quickly. But I just love how everything feels so well put together. And when we're comparing this to the Audi S5, I definitely enjoy the infotainment system a lot more in this car. The seats could use just a little bit more bolstering, at least on the bottom portion. Top, not too bad, but I would like the seats just to have a little bit more bolstering. Yes, when you go M4, you're gonna get the ability to have more performance-oriented seats. Is this a performance convertible? I'm gonna say heck yeah. It's got nice balance of power. The chassis has been worked over perfectly you're getting good feedback through the steering wheel which is that's what you want you want the car to communicate to you and then you got that top down experience and it feels really really good and a competent zf8 speed i mean it'd be interesting to see an m440i with a manual transmission but uh i do like shifting through the gearbox myself of course rather than the zf doing it all by itself but no matter which way you go you're gonna get nice smooth shifts but i hope you're ready for some on throttle on throttle here we go nice Woohoo! Just, just put the smile on your face on the brakes one down shift there we go Now 
going through this turn. Really just hunker down. Obviously those Michelin tires, so important. Tires are everything, not only for grip, but for braking and accelerating and that balance through the turn. So you're really, really getting some great tires. Those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's fit the personality of this car and the handling of this car spot on the money. And you got the top down fun. So you're really just getting it all the way around. All right, guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. Second gear, on throw, here we go. this turn it just feels good nice and balanced nice it, I'm telling you you don't ever feel like you're gonna be out of control and I really like that about this car if you know how to drive it's gonna reward you you're gonna feel good and you get the top down fun. It really is an all arounder that does everything very, very well. Comfort, the materials, the whole nine yards. All right guys, one more time for you, one more time for me. I shut traction control off. Here we go. On throw, yeah! <laughs> nice! Brakes feel good. tires a happy tire but I'm so glad to be able to share this one with you BMW I think did a bang-up job and now that we're past the looks of it we could get down to the nitty-gritty the meat and potatoes of this car but if you're ready I'm ready let's get back to where it all started and wrap this one up I'll see you in a split all second right, guys it's been a fun on throttle time with this BMW M440i I definitely want to thank everybody at BMW USA for allowing Rady's Rights access to this press fleet vehicle. What do you think? Is this a true performance convertible? And is it the way to go over an Audi S5? Let me know in that comment section. Definitely the on throttle fun was there to be had. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rights family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon subscriber. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the muscle behind the camera. She's the best videographer in all of the land, plus some. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.